So now you're wondering, what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong about Ragnarok? I suppose it's possible. <laughs> what if the Mayans were right? Or what if the Mayans were wrong? <laughs> Or what if the Mayans didn't see the end of the world, but a birth of a new kind of consciousness? Maybe we're all going to get a lot smarter, stop doing terrible things to one another. Maybe our brains are going to grow bigger on the outside of our heads. <laughs> and maybe when that happened, the cannibal gangs wouldn't eat them, even though they're so delicious. I suppose it's possible. And what if when the ancient and unspeakable gods come, one of them takes pity on us? We'll call him Dazgoth, the pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> and what if instead of devouring us, he waves his claw and retcons the whole universe? <laughs> and wipes out a thousand years of Ragnarok and makes like none of it ever happened. We might meet each other here again, never knowing what happened after, never knowing the terrible things we did to survive. Maybe then I would just be a deranged millionaire, and everything in my book on sale today, <laughs> a mad fiction. Maybe the only difference between that world and this one is now you have a tentacle for an arm. <laughs> maybe you even explain that away by looking down and saying, oh, I'm just wearing an octopus sleeve. <laughs> Your brain can miss so many things when it doesn't want to see. Or maybe nothing happens at all. For another reason. <laughs> it could happen that way. But what I would ask you to remember is this is that even if we die in the best possible way, in our sleep, having accomplished everything we wanted to do a thousand years from now, <laughs> as my life expectancy suggests, if I keep taking the vitamins that Ray Kurzweil gives me. <laughs> <laughs> or if we are eaten by the 10,000 independently mobile teeth of Nub Shabbath, the tooth cloud, <laughs> exactly on June 23rd, 2012. The reality is, we're all consumed in the end. Well, it's a good enough time, I said, to sing a song about mortality. And when I first read anything from my first book, uh, a young woman sang a song that I really liked that reading. And then she's here now at the very end to sing it with me tonight. Her name is Cynthia Hopkins. Would you please applaud her? sung that song the first reading I ever gave, the first hobo name reading I ever gave. Jonathan Ames hosted it. It's true. It's a true story. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Good. So the song that I've stolen from you and <laughs> have been singing around the country and on the high seas uh, is a sing-along, is it not? Yes. And don't you think it would be a good idea for everybody to sing along tonight? Oh, yes. Okay, good. So would you help them to understand what to sing? And I'll help too. Okay. All right. This is a song about, is, am I wrong that it's a song about mortality? Because that's how I interpreted it. Yeah, you could call it mortality or death. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm always prettying it up. <laughs> and the, and the, what we want is for the audience to sing the chorus. Is that not correct? That's right. No. Haven't you been doing this? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Would you like me to do it? Yes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so the chorus is very simple. And 
uh, so the first uh, words you want to sing, I learned this from you, but from watching you. <laughs> okay. The first words you want to sing is, uh, resist the tide, stand in the water. And it sounds like this. Resist the tide, stand in the water. And the next words you want to sing are, that's baptism, that's making light. That's baptism. <laughs> That's making light. And it's the same thing again, right? Electricity is proof that there can be. Right? <laughs> Electricity <laughs> is proof that there can be. So let's uh, put that together, shall we? <laughs> Resist the tide, stand in the water. Resist the tide, stand in the water. That's baptism. That's baptism. That's making light. That's making light. Electricity is proof that there can be. And then there's this weird chord that creates a lot of tension that we'll resolve later in the actual song. So do you think you can sing along to that when it comes around? I'll make sure you know when it's time. fall apart everything tends to decay so it takes a lot to combine atoms in such a way that I resist the lure of that darkness that lurks around the edges of every day So I'm inviting you to join me in this fight To go down to the river and come up all three times Hank Williams was right No one gets out alive All that we can do is try to have a really good time. Resist the tide, stand in the water. That's baptism, that's making light. Electricity is proof that can be. It's flowing. 